Hello and welcome back, this is Seismic Floor in the Long Dark in the Winter Mute Story Mode. So we've just picked up Astrid's case and we were looking for some food. So, stuck on something there. So there's a nice deer there. Let's pick up some fire. Oh, and a coat. There we are. Clothing is very important against the cold. Who would have known? Probably climb there. Yeah, I think we'll leave that. Um, this carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Tasty. Right. Uh, let's. Right. We are very hungry and very cold now. And as if we need to say in a survival situation, don't eat raw meat that you find on the floor. There we go, we picked up some more fuel. Hopefully that fire's still going. We'll come out and break some of this uh, some of these sticks up as well. It is. So Lots of fuel. Uh, right, so in order to get our meat on the fire there, we have to go spacebar to bring up your radial menu here. Like sources, drink, first aid, campcraft, journal, map, weapons. So if we go food. No, 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 I don't want to. That's gone well. So what I should have done was right click rather than left click warm up a little bit and go and harvest some more oh also what we probably want to do is just check right, okay yeah we picked that up and it's frozen so if we drop that next to the fire hopefully it comes down nice and quickly right take two take two What's surprising about that is we didn't get any food poisoning from eating that raw meat. We must have got very, very lucky. Right, should we try that again? So, food. There we go. Right click and then left click to place it on one of these things. What we can also do while we're cooking that up. We get the old uh, can on the go there. Melt some snow down. We'll warm up. Go and uh, go and break some of those those twigs apart. In fact, let's just keep harvesting meat. That'll last a little bit. That's not ready for an hour and a half. Fifteen minutes or so. Uh, okay. We'll go get some twigs until that's ready. Although that'll take half an hour because it'll need boiling after it's been melted. Let's get some meat. I'll just switch on for a little bit. left on that guy now. We're freezing again. There we are, so that's ready for drinking. Once you fill up your little bar, it should put any leftover water in your inventory. So that's always good. Uh, right, what am I doing here? It's only wet now rather than frozen. That's still another 41 minutes. Let's put some more water on there. And then we can go and grab some sticks. Three of my life. So we 
we've half heated up next to our plus 80 degree uh, campfire. The water's nearly done, as is the venison. Okay, let's drink that one. Get some more of that on the go. That's cooked, so we can eat that one as well. And then right click, left click. Forty-seven percent wet. Right sticks. Let's go and grab the uh, grab that last little bit of meat. says he can't climb. The question is, do we risk it? Yes we do. No we don't. Right, rose hips. Healing nature. get these ones. So I'm guessing what that means. Uh, maybe that's rose hip tea or something. Uh, oh we can take two of those. Have we got two of those? No we do not. So we need some rose hip tea. Back down the hill. On with his sprint sprained ankle. Get some more sticks, just cuz. Oh, just about got to that water, which is also good. Uh, 21 minutes till that's ready because we can now prepare some rose hip. Tea. He's nice and toasty, so we can definitely go and get some more twigs. Get some of that there. His coat's ready. Uh, so let's put it on the top there. You can see here the warmth, warmth bonus of all the clothing that we're wearing, windproof be uh, bonus, protection. And that's sort of the other way around, so uh, if you're wearing big clunky boots, it'll it'll take away from your ability to sprint. So 7 minutes, 19 minutes, I think we're good. Well that's just burnt his, uh, his rose hip tea. Which is always good. I think I can climb out of here now. Okay, so he can, he can climb out. So you unlock things and it's kept in your journal. So, in here. Time to climb out. We've got through all of that. Okay, you can go into each of those as well. There's the special case. Right. Let's take that can. Get out of here. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the floor we can just pick up. made it first than last time. We're going to need some more of those. I 
think it's three bushes per tee. Just pick up as many as we can on the way through. Up again. Still going. Still going strong. I think I'm gonna make it. That's not a twig. Get in near the top. Wonder how many more of these we've got. I don't want to go back down. Okay. Grab those two. See what's around. Nothing that way. More wreckage up here. Ah. In the plane. I should hope Aspen's not in there. signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Wow. That was a bit intense. So, I think that's probably a good place to uh, to end this one then. So, we'll start the next episode trying to look for Astrid. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please feel free to uh, to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But for now, thank you for watching.